Uh, last night coming in, um, you know, Kojo was feeling a little under the weather, and uh, there was a possibility he wouldn't play. And then this morning, you know, going through walkthrough, uh, Coach was just telling me stay ready, you know, just in case uh, he wasn't feeling any better by game time. So, mm -hmm. you know, once I got to the arena, it was pretty much confirmed at that point. So I started mentally preparing, um, you know, for my opportunity. Right. What else goes into that preparation? Uh, just staying ready. You know, sometimes when you're not playing, it's easy to sit back and relax and, and just, uh, you know, not be into the game. But I try to do that anyway, so it's not much of an adjustment. Um, but just being ready for your number call, a little extra stretching during the time I was there, um, knowing when the rotation, when your times are going. So for this, you get to drive to Mississauga to practice tomorrow. Case was just telling us, what, what's it been like going back and forth like that for you? Yeah, update. I didn't yeah. know that, but uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, it's been it's been a, a grind for sure, going yeah. back and forth, a lot of basketball, but mm -hmm. it's just it's a part of the process. And I'm mm -hmm. um, just lucky you got guys like Norm who, mm -hmm. there we go. who yeah. who've already who already done it and, and paved the way, so you can pick his brain a little bit about you know how he got through it. And uh, it's just at this point, it's about the experience and the exposure. So. Uh, it's not punishment, and uh, it's just something you got to go through and try to play well every time you're out there. Yeah, I was out there Thursday when you guys played Oklahoma City, and Stack had said, okay, we never know when he's coming back and forth, but when he does, he gets here, they work you pretty hard. They get throw you right in there. Right. That's got to be beneficial. Right. I mean, it's a lot of basketball, like I said, and I think that's for the better, and it's part of the progression and the development, you know, of my game, and it's something I'm looking forward to to keep getting better each day. And, uh that's kind of a, a thing with the four-year guys that like you won't get any better. But, uh, you know, I think that that's a, that's a myth. And, and, you know, I'm just trying to work each day to keep getting better. Is that a myth that's game-wide? Did you hear that from other four-year guys as well? And like that's the overall concept, you know, in terms of especially the draft process is that all right, he let played four first. years, so he can't get any better. You hear potential and all that. But, let him know you, know, we, you know, I think it helps. I'm glad Just it's like that because, players, man. yeah, for sure, you keep the chip on your shoulder. And uh, we're the guys in there early and, and, and staying late and just keep grinding and getting better. Fred, what's your confidence level like? You look very comfortable running the team out there and even taking Corey's place in playing beside yeah. Kyle. Uh, it's always high, for better or for worse. And, you know, some games it's, it's for the worse, but that's something you got to live with. And, I never try to hang my head. I get frustrated. I'm a, I'm a harsh critic of, my, of myself, but um, confidence level has always got to be high, and there's nobody that can take that from you. So every time you step out there, you got to feel like you know you're the best player on the court, and you have to try to you know exude that that uh, that energy up. What kind of chemistry uh, have you developed with these guys? As I said, you look confident. You got some stuff going with Lucas that, to us, looked like yeah. the same way Kyle runs right. it. It's, it's been the best part, and you know I think that's been the best part of the process is having all these guys that have your back, you know, no matter what, and uh, you know being able to to play with some of the younger guys throughout the summer and, and learn some chemistry and, and the way guys move, and being able to watch Kyle lead and and the plays that he makes, so that way when I get my chance, you know, I can try to uh, replicate that and, and and do my own thing as well. So it's been great, and uh, I think one through fifteen, um, and the whole coaching staff have been very supportive and, and embracing me. What have been uh, like Demar and uh, they met your, your development on and off the court? Uh, it's been great. Um, you know, especially Kyle. I've just been a point guard, but just taking me under his wing, and uh, he doesn't have to tell me. He doesn't have to text me. You know, inspirational quotes or or give me a bunch of advice every day, but just leading the way he does, and you know, pulling me to the side every so often to say, hey, you know, think about this, think about that, or just even working out with me every, you know, every so often. Um, those type of things go a long way, and obviously Demar is Demar. Being able to play with him and a guy that's that great, he could easily be, you know, shaking his head or, or waving me off when when I play, you know, make a bad play or something. But he's just embracing and uh, very supportive, and just you know, I think those guys have been through it, so they kind of can, you know, feel where I'm at and, and uh, the trajectory. You're watching Demar this season have the type of season he is. How fun has that been to, to watch? It's been unbelievable for me. I got the best seats in the house uh, down there. But uh, it's been great. I think that I've seen it so much that I'm almost used to it. But every so often, you know, between family and friends, they'll call me or text me and say, man, the Rosen, the Rosen. And I'll, I'll take a step back and be like, wow, you know, he really is having an unbelievable season. So um, for him, a guy that works that hard, you know, you're happy for him to, to see it pay off. Terrence kind of joked a little earlier, like it's, he's almost a fan. You know, he's yeah. catching himself as a fan watching Demar. Is that, yeah. that kind of how it's yeah, been? Most definitely. I think we all are, yeah. and uh, as we should be. Uh, he's one of the top talents in the league, and it's fun to watch him. Um, 
you know, anytime I get my chance in practice, I'm trying to get up under him and, and uh, try to play defense on him just to, just to, you know, groove my game. You want to play against the best. So um, it's, it's been great.